mad scientist, and hopefully you're going to have lots of fun doing mad sciencey things today. Okay? So, today we are going to learn about bridges. Okay? Now, I bet you all know lots about bridges already, don't you? Oh no, you're all very quiet. What do you know about bridges? Come on, tell me. What's a bridge? They're tall and they go over like rivers. Fantastic, they can be very tall, can't they? They go over rivers. What else do we know about bridges? Um, some bridges are built for train lines. They go over the road. That's it, they go, so trains go over the bridges. Fantastic. Yeah. You see the expansion bridges? Suspension bridges? Fantastic, suspension bridges. Anything else? Different shapes. Different shapes, they come in very, very different shapes. Anything else? <laughs> No? Okay, so we're going to learn about a very, very special type of bridge today. This first bridge is just a simple beam bridge. Now, the Cantonese bridge is really complex, can you see that? And so, what can you, what observations can you make about this bridge? What things do you think? What, what shapes appear in it? One big tower at this end, and one big tower at that end, is Benjamin Baker. Okay, over 150 years ago, he was from Froome, but he travelled all over the place. So he's very, a very, very interesting man. Benjamin Baker thought of two very important forces in bridges: compression. Then we push their hands together like this, and the other one he thought about was tension. So if we link their hands together, it's tension pull. In this Cantonese bridge, he thought of compression and tension. The bridge works on the principle of compression and tension. So these ones here compress, and the ones along the top tense. The fourth bridge is in Scotland, and it's 1.5 miles long. The one, and it's just like this one, obviously a lot, lot bigger. Yeah. So the fourth bridge is 1.5 miles long, and it used 55,000 tons of steel. In our cantilever bridge here, we've got lots of triangles, haven't we? I've got to remember that as well. A triangle is the strongest shape because if a weight was put on any of the corners, the, the, temp, the pressure spreads throughout the whole shape. And if that was a square, then it would be really wobbly. Okay? So you need to think about the importance of triangles as well. Then you're going to put all your bits in the bag. Right. I'm going to read it. 